Jacob Reads, Social Reform Through Photography by Drexel B. James. Writing, journalist, photojournalist, documentary photographer, social reformer. These are just a few words to use to describe Jacob Reed, one of the earliest examples of how photojournalism can be used as a vehicle for social change and reform in the late 19th and early 20th century. Born in Ryde, Denmark on May 3, 1849, Reese was born one of 14 children. Trained in carpentry with a sensitive heart towards humanity of people, Reese immigrated to New York in 1870 at the age of 21. There, he tried to make a living as a carpenter, but unfortunately, he arrived in America at a time when America was suffering through a depression. Reese found himself poor, working menial jobs, and at times homeless on the streets. In 1874, Reese was hired as the editor of South Brooklyn News, where he discovered a talent for writing and began to further develop it there. In 1877, Reese was hired as a police reporter for the New York Tribune. He covered the police beat on Mulberry Street, one of the toughest and poorest districts in New York. During his time at the South Brooklyn News, Reese acquired a camera and began to teach himself about photography. Now, working in one of the poorest districts in New York, Reese began to couple his newfound talent of photography and reporting, along with his passion and heart for those in despair and less fortunate, to capture the despair in the streets of New York. Reese compiled many of his pictures into the first of his several books, entitled How the Other Half Lived, Studies Among the Tenements of York City. His skill at writing and reporting, coupled with his powerfully revealing photos of the conditions of New York slum, boosted his books to become an international sensation. The future U.S. President, but then current New York Police Commissioner Theodore Roosevelt, was intrigued by the conditions of the city's poorest neighborhoods. Reese's book helped spur Roosevelt to begin the fight to enact many reforms and for the poor during his term as governor of New York. Reese was one of the earliest social documentaries in the world of photojournalism. His photos documented a side of New York overlooked and underrepresented in the media in the late 19th century. An advocate for the poor, immigrants, and those he felt were oppressed and exploited, he traveled and showcased his photos around America. His reporting inspired shock and horror among New York's upper and middle classes and was the spark that began the re many reforms to change living conditions for the poor. Reese wrote and published other collections of his work, including The Children of the Poor in 1892, Battle with the Slum in 1902, Out of Mulberry Street in 1898, and even his own autobiography, The Making of an American in 1901. When Reese died in Massachusetts on May 26, 1914, he was known as the Emancipator of the Slums. In his honor in New York City, a national park was named after him called the Jacob Reese National Park. Reese had a passion for open spaces and making sure people had the room they needed to live and survive. Reese ushered in not just a new form of reporting and photography that would, that would activate social change, but actual social change during the progressive era in the United States of America.